Uh, yep, here we go. Okay, so Papel yeah, Ice Priest. Yeah, I into the priest. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So last week, 5-5 five, five was a challenge for a lot of people until we figured out that we could push them all in the, in the drink. So Papel Ice Priest, <laughs> what's crazy about, and there's also a Dark Light Ice Priest that is very similar, but Papel has a push. Now, when you figure out finally that when you have ice on the ground, you can actually push people as far as the ice is. So five squares, whatever it is, it's pretty crazy. And she just has so many cool things where you got a single target slow, which is nice. Her passive, she puts defense up, so it makes your team a little bit tankier. Very good for tower. She decreases AoE damage taken in an aura, so that enabled a lot of people to farm like the level 50 bosses, even though they're still in their level 30s. And of course, you got your damage reduction stuff. And then she has just like a big AoE. You can choose between that and the line, but essentially she's putting up frost all over the place. So you can now come in with your glory or whoever your push units are, lure them a certain way, yeah. and then just smash them down the cliff or whatever it is. And the thing to note is when it says ice, it means it puts ice down on the field. Yeah. When, so when I when I read those kits, because like on like day one, people like check out the ice priest. I'm like, eh, they seem kind of <laughs> mid because on the fire one, like on the fire attacks, it says puts down the flaming top. And I'm like, wait, just having that ice in brackets means they're putting ice ground down. And then yeah. you look at, I chose the straight line one because I wanted the reach. But like, this is the kind of character that I'll probably unlock multiple. Oh, yeah. Um, but but yeah, like the ice is just so powerful. Yeah, it messes it messes with movement, so they're limited on their movement. You set them up a certain way, and you know how it goes from there. And, and you can also make them path around it. Like they, they yes. will often avoid the ice if they can, and it's how you can sort of corral them into choke points that you want to get them in uh, due to the ice. Yeah, yeah, I've seen people well, run. Think about like in, think about like manual PvP someday. You start laying all that ice down, people are going to be like, "Wait a sec, what are you?" What are you doing? Like what? This, do I step on? Do I want dark to step light on ice priest here? This is one of the most broken units at level thirty-five, dude. That, oh, that, yeah. The freeze skill. The what is it? Two turn freeze. Yeah, it's oh, the top here. left one here. It gives movement minus three. Like most units oh, can't oh, even move. Oh, oh, if they already have movement down, then they become frozen for wow. two turns, which is arguably worse if you're <laughs> mostly a physical damage team. But there's a lot of units you give a move minus three. And they're just like, they just stand there like a big, yeah. big dummy. So with these and the bandits that per platypus has been using a lot, I've seen entire teams with just the two bandits, the two ice priests, and maybe like barrel or whoever's relevant for that tower. And people are just demolishing tower once they learn these strats now. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, you, yeah. you just completely box out with those units. And like I said, the, the first one people started telling me about was the Papal Ice Priest. And, I'm, and I looked at that, that max skill on the Dark Priest. I'm like... Yeah, this this guy's got something cooking too. But the pushback is huge on the other one. Like the the yeah, pushback the is the big thing that he has that uh, that the other one doesn't have. But yeah, I think I think in general, also PayPal Ice Priest is the highest speed in the game. He's at yeah, like yes. eighty or something. Yeah. He goes before everything. Yeah, and and speed does become very very relevant in those oh, um, mm -hmm. in those towers because like you need to have the right speed gene. Like because because it does eventually become a. Um, a sort of, uh, you know, you've got to hit the right obstacle first. It, it becomes like that true, true tactical type yeah. thing. Seven five was a good example because you had a real fast Mitha that you need to trap right away. With the yes, little ball. yes, and you put him on the right side. He runs up and knocks it and then boxes her in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, yeah, it he's fantastic. It doesn't say it in his traits or anywhere, but by having that two seventy speed, it also allows you to use your tactical powers before anything else because there's nothing worse than there's like i'm going to use march order i'm going to use urgent order and then they just go first and they one shot your unit so mm -hmm. you get to do this in the beginning you could suddenly teleport your unit out of danger because some of these placements you're within range of getting one shot on the very first turn of combat so yeah uh, and, absolutely and, and even with some unit. of them like some maps like I'll, I'll take like like often i'm taking this one but sometimes i'll take this one if there's a barrel and sometimes if you're not using a fast enough unit you can't blow up the barrel and like mm -hmm. bring like three of them down to 20 percent hp so that yeah having a fast unit is super handy uh for that type of stuff i definitely agree you guys were talking about topple ice priest right that's the one who gives the aoe um buff right the aoe reduction uh yeah yeah this guy. Mm -hmm. okay because like that's the thing when you're farming gear is like you're fighting this boss and you're stuck on a map that's like four tiles wide and they're like hey four by four <laughs> aoe that one shot your team you're dead so you don't the healer doesn't matter 
And so, like, this will actually... This will be so important for farming those stages. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a super yeah. good ability. I, had a, kind of I had a friend beat the level 50 weapon boss at level 34 using him. So... Phew. I like I like half like th I know what my next video is now. So whoever like this is like such an awesome thing.